Hey everybody, it's Eric from the MMG. Welcome to our channel. Today we're talking Conan Exiles Age of War Chapter 4 is out. Just came out a couple days ago actually, but I have not been following this too closely myself. And I'm just super impressed with the content that they keep popping out for Conan. And uh, I saw in Chapter 4 they added fatalities, which sounds amazing. I'm reading through some of this and I mean it's just... Some of this content is very cool. Right now, we're going to talk about Chapter 4. We're going to talk about the deep discounts they got right now. You can buy the base game, 70% off for $11.99. And then all the expansions and stuff, there's a bundle you can get it all. You can pick them up individually here. But enough with that. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your own dedicated server through Steam. Is you host this on a server that you're not going to be, or on a computer that you're not playing on. You can do it on the same machine, but I have a lot of weird issues. I've had a lot of... People have weird issues when they try to do that because there's a lot of settings on your router and stuff that if they're not set right, it, you, you can't play and host on the same machine. The ports can get in each other's way if you don't change the ports. It's just a lot of extra work. So if you have an old laptop, maybe your old gaming PC, I would utilize that as a server. It's going to make the experience much easier for you to host and play and the overall going to be much better. All right, now let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to do this through Steam have a standalone version Conan Exiles dedicated server here on Steam and to find that let me show you real quick as long as you own Conan on the account you want to make sure your top thing up here is selected to show all make sure tools is selected because this is called a tool let's actually uncheck everything else and I'll show you exactly what I mean and then in your search bar here just type in Conan and you're gonna see Conan Exiles dedicated server right here all right, now you just want to right-click on it and actually install it, and that's going to download the files for the Conan Ex uh, Exiles dedicated server. All right, now go ahead and launch the server, and then once it's done loading, shut the server back down. All right, once you get that server shut down, now you want to go back to your Conan Exiles dedicated server and your Steam list, right-click on it. You want to go Manage, and you want to Browse Local Files. It's going to take you to the folder where it downloaded the actual server files. You're gonna see a couple things here. This is the main folder. You can see there's a start server, not bat. You can actually start your server from here if you want, or you can hit the Steam launch button, however. The first thing we need to do is we need to go into the Conan sandbox. And then we're gonna see a config folder. We wanna go in there. And here's the default configs. And so we're gonna to wanna to copy some of these. So I actually recommend that you have two windows open to do this is to make it easier so we're going to kind of shrink this window down <clears throat> and then we're going to actually open another window so we're going to open another window explorer here file explorer drag it over here beside here i'm going to just copy this address real quick so i'm going to select the address bar hit Control c come over to this address bar hit Control v hit enter it's going to take me right to the same location as you can see now what we actually want to do is we want to go back a notch one group of folders, oops, sorry. You wanna go up here and go to, uh, instead of config, go to Conan Sandbox. So you're back in your main folder here. And then we wanna actually go to saved. Saved is the world that we generated when we started that server up the first time. So this is still a blank world, obviously, but it's the one that we're gonna be able to change settings in. So go to config in here, Windows Server. And then here you're gonna see the list looks very similar to these, minus the word default in front, right? which is what we want. The reason I recommend that you don't change the default settings is because you may want to change, you may want to number one, start a new server with default. And then if you change the default settings in your files here, well, then they're gonna be different. And number two, sometimes when they update the game, it could write over the default settings. So you might lose the settings that you have. So I definitely recommend that you edit it in your world that you're hosting your Windows server. Here, so what I recommend you do is, you can do it a couple ways. You can right click on it. You're gonna to wanna to grab uh, two to three files. You want the default game engine for sure. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna tell it to copy. And then I'm gonna paste it over in this folder over here. And now we have the default thing there. Now we just need to change the name. So you know you have your game INI, so I just, or engine.ini, just grab that. I mean, just hit delete. And then come down here and just take out the word default from this file. And boom, now we have our engine.ini. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the default game ini over here. Just gonna copy it. And we're gonna paste it over here. And then we are gonna delete our game.ini right up here. And rename this one. 
enter there we go and i think that's oh we need the default server settings that i and i so that's this is going to be the last one we're going to copy it come over here paste it delete the server settings that i and i file and change the name from this one There we go. Now we have the main ones that we need. And if, if you find a setting in one of these other ones that aren't in your new world here, you can do the same thing to, to get the files over. But the, what we're going to focus on is that. Okay, so now you can close the first window that we opened. And we're going to function back over into the saved world because this is where we're going to actually adjust our server settings. So first things I'm going to start with, uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to just name the server. So that's found in your game.ini file. So you want to right click on it and go open. I recommend Notepad++ or no, regular Notepad. We're going to use Notepad just to keep it simple. And there it is open in Notepad. I don't know why that bothers me. Okay, so this is the file and we're going to, you can change the max players in this list here and the max spectators. That's really the main settings in this one. So say, I mean, if you have a pretty good connection, you can probably host quite a bit of serve, quite a bit of people. So, and you can look down and just make sure there's nothing else here you want to change. But most of this is not things that you're going to change on your server, to be honest. All right. So once you have that done, make sure you hit file and save to save your settings. Next file we're going to look at is the engine.ini. So we're going to right click on that, open with Notepad++ again. And this is where we can see the server name. So if we scroll down a little ways, we will find the server name. There is server password and there is server name. So we're gonna name ours the Mature Minded Gamers. You can put tags in there, PVE, whatever you want. That's that's the server name. Now do I I don't know what the Maximum size is, but I know you can't make it crazy long. I don't think so put something relative in there Then what if you want a password on it put something here if you don't want a password just leave it blank Then most of this stuff. No one's gonna want to change you can look and you know, make sure there might be something in here I don't even know what it would be but Feel free to look at the settings be careful though because you know One missed key and you could break something pretty easily in here. So now we want to go file and save. And again, that's why we saved the default and we didn't change it, right? All right, next one we're going to look at is server settings.ini. This is where the majority of the settings we want to edit are. We're going to again open it with Notepad. And it starts you right out here with player food modifiers, and all the modifiers are here. So uh, this is, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. So just look at them, they're pretty self explanatory. Kind of pick the ones that you want to change. Obviously, XP is always a big one on a lot of servers. Server community set to relaxed. You can change that. Uh, I think if there's like relaxed, hardcore, maybe experimental is another one. You can Google it to find them. I don't remember what they all are. Uh, max nudity, you can have none, which is zero also. You can have one, which is partial, and you can have two, which is max. And you, Oh, you can set an admin password. I definitely recommend you do that. All right, once you have everything set, make sure you go up to file and hit save. And I think we are now ready to run our server. And after you right click on it and, and you browse the files like I showed you earlier, just leave this window up and now actually exit out of Steam. Now, if you have more than one Steam account, like you're actually hosting it on another machine, another account, then you don't have to do that. But if you're like me and you only have one Steam account, well, then you can't have Steam logged in playing games on two different machines. It doesn't work. So you can log out though, because we have the files we, we want now, we're logged out of Steam, and we still have our window open. And there's actually a start server.bat file right here. That's all you have to do is run that. And that will actually start the server up, and it actually brings up a nice little window here for you that shows you the status of the server as it's loading. And you do need to give it a couple minutes to fully load. All right, now just go to the machine that you're going to play the game on itself. It should be separate from where we are hosting the server, as I said earlier. And you're going to want to hit play, and then you're going to want to hit launch on the launcher here. All right, once you get it loaded up, you want to click play online. 
and then make sure all your server settings up here for the search bar is set to the default setting should look like this up here and then just go to your server name here and you just start typing in whatever you named your server ours is obviously mature minded gamers right here so we can see it's up and running we can see all the settings that we put in here and uh, the ping and all that stuff so when you're ready to join just click that join button and you are good to play on your server i do want to mention that your friends should be able to see the server if if uh, if not you probably have something blocking your ports either a firewall or a router so make sure you double check that those ports are forwarded correctly and if you need a video on how to do it on a windows firewall look on our channel we have a video and i'll actually link it in the description below all right everybody thanks for watching hopefully this video helped you out please don't forget to help us out by hitting that subscribe button and have yourself a great day